Well, greetings. This is Trev from OnlinePClearning.com. Got a great tutorial here for you. You know, we've had a great amount of interest in our roster tutorials. We've had the one that you run with formulas, multiple rosters with formulas, and navigation with hyperlinks. Excellent tutorials. Then we've had our VBA Roster Plus, which took us through to show us how we can generate flow sheets from our roster as well. Now, this particular tutorial is going to do all that and more. This is totally flexible. You can add wards on the fly. It will do your flow sheets. It will actually calculate even times. I put in here a, a user-defined function that I've written that will calculate the times. It will show you, from our front sheet here, you can see we're even calculating the amount of overtime that a ward is doing before you issue the roster. It's really going to enable you to keep a check on the dollars that's being spent within the roster system. Now what makes this so fantastic isn't just that it calculates hours, but its ability to be able to be flexible. You can set it up to run one to 10 to 20 wards, whatever you want. It has an, an administration system in it where you click in, put in your password, validate that password, and a administration panel comes up. And in here, you're able to delete sheets, you're able to add sheets, everything is automatic. You don't need to hard code any formula in. Once it's set up, you can just start running the sheets in and out, send them out to different departments or different companies, whatever it is you're doing, and it will all be automatic for you. Now, if you wanna know more about how this works, there's another video that I put, an overview video. If you're interested, you can watch that. It'll be on the website as well, and it's on YouTube. But basically, this is an administration control panel that allows you to set the roster up before you send it out, the number of wards you want, and then after that, everything is pretty well automatic. Well, let's have a look around. You're familiar with the way this works. We have our codes that are in here, our early, late, and night. This is set up for a hospital. You could run it for any sort of thing you want, any departments. Our previous one run with uh, letters like E for early, EK, uh, N for night, ND for night, and so on. This one runs with times. So this is set up to run with time. So many departments now, or many particularly in hospitals where I work, want to run with times. And this is set up to run with times. So I'll just flick you through a few wards. All we do is we have our wards in here. I'll have a look at this ward with you just very quickly. We have our control panel for entering any of our shifts in. Just select the shift that you want and then we can just pop that in. Now you'll notice as soon as it goes in, we'll double click on it, the shift is entered, and it's calculated over here to the right. We have a panel that calculates the hours. Now, what it does is add up the FTE hours you should be getting for that staff member, and then shows you the variance. This person has got 18 hours overtime if we, add, if we need to take a shift out there. All the green shows that you need to add extra here that you need to take them away. Great for roster planning. This is fantastic for that. Same other features, if I go to the bottom of the sheet, remember previously we were able to show you how we can reduce the size of the sheet. You notice by our spin buttons here, we're doing the same thing again. We're reducing the size of the sheet to help you to see, or to set it up for individual wards. So they can, they can do that themselves. All right? Now, let's just have a look. We'll close this down. We wanna to go to the top of the sheet again. We'll have a look. Just click over here to get to the left-hand side. Okay, we wanna go and have a look at, we can sort our data too, by the way. We wanna have a look at our flow sheets. So we just go to flow sheets, it takes it over. You notice when we went to the flow sheet sheet here, it was previously hidden and now it's not. Now we wouldn't send this out with, sh with tabs showing, they'd all be hidden and they can be hidden and unhidden from the control administrator panel I showed you earlier. So here we have that water set up here. We can now generate the flow sheets for this ward. Just pop in any date that you want and it'll tell us the early, late, and night shifts for that particular ward on that particular day. Here they all are. Here's all the earlies. We'll just close that down. Here's all the earlies, here's all the lates, and there's all the nights. I'll just toggle them to make them a bit shorter for you so you can see them. All right, and so it's just a matter of picking up any, any shift that you want of the 28 days, click it in, and it will give you those flow sheets. Work them all out for you. There they are for that particular day. Very, very easy to do. All right, well, let's go now and have a look. We'll return to our previous sheet, which takes us back to here. And of course, we can then go back to our interface sheet. What makes this so fantastic is this particular part of it. This is the interesting bit in here. This will set up for you 
anything you want to do. As the administrator, you can reset the sheet names, you can add sheets, the number of sheets you can put in, you can add extra sheets here. You don't have to do any other coding. You can even put the name of the sheet in and the starting number of the sheet. All of that is done. We can toggle our, our sheet tabs on and off here. We can even delete the sheets here to set up a new lot for a new department or company. We can unprotect all the sheets and protect them here. We can set singular dates as this one is set up or we can set rolling dates. For instance, we can put in here 16th of the 3rd, 13, and it has to be a true date or it's gonna kick it back at you and then set, set rolling dates and now you'll notice over here, every sheet will start with a new rolling date. It's going to go for the next 28 days afterwards. And so now if we go and check our sheets, you'll find they're all rolling dates from one sheet, one roster to the next roster to the next. Here's all the same dates. If you're using one department multiple times, you just set the same dates. This is truly an awesome little program for you to use. Look, that's all we've got time for in the overview video, five or six minutes. But if you want to do this, it's not for beginners, but there's so much here to learn. This is Trev from OnlinePCLearning.com. Thanks for joining me and thanks for the thousands of you who have been doing the tutorials and getting in touch with me and telling, you, telling me your responses to them. I appreciate that very much. So bye for now.